in this video, I will feature those bags that I'm thinking about allowing to leave my collection. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. This is the first bag. I purchased this bag. I want to say I purchased it last year. Might have been a year before. I don't know. But anyway, anytime I purchase these vintage bags, I always dunk them and clean them. It's just me. It does come, as you can see. Let me take the stuffing out so you can see the inside of it. it does have a zipper compartment on the inside here. And then it does have a pocket on the front there. So I'm sure it'll hold more than I think. The only thing that has kept me from wearing this bag is I don't know for sure if it's gonna work for me. But like I said, when you get a new bag in your collection, whether it's pre-loved or brand new, you need to carry the bag. So I do need to allow myself time to carry this bag so that I will know for sure if it will leave my collection it does have an outside slip pocket for the cell phone and i'm going to go ahead and put the strap on so you can see what it looks like on the body and i think this is called the legacy coat shoulder flap or something like that if i can find the correct name or what i think is the correct name i will post it if anybody knows the correct name of this bag please Put a comment in the comment section below and let others know what this bag is called. It's a nice bag, but I have not used it yet. So this is it as a crossbody. Please keep in mind, I am five foot two. So it's on the last setting. So yes, it does work as a crossbody for me. And I put it on a short setting as a shoulder bag shoulder bag that's on the last let me make sure yes that's on the last hole now, i'm short enough it'll probably work as a crossbody on a on the short setting so yes if you're wondering did i film my entire handbag collection and also the bags that i'm thinking about allowing to leave my collection video on the same day yes i did this is my Patricia Nash handbag. This is my only Patricia Nash handbag. Like I have one. I do have a Patricia Nash tote as well. This is part of the 10th year edition collection. Very cute. Very nice inside. Of course, the handle is not detachable. And it does have multiple holes on the strap here. I'll put it on the longest hole so you can see it that way. And then I'll put it on the shortest hole so you can see it that way as well. The last hole, actually. Let's do that one first. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the very last hole here. I've only used it one time. That's right, one time. So put it on the last hole. You can tell where I, where I put it on that hole. I used it there one time. And it's basically set on my shelf. White, cleaned it up, set on my shelf. Now, this is just the style of the croc leather. Okay. It does have a back slip pocket with a magnetic snap in there. Okay. It's a nice, comfortable bag. Nice bag. Now, that is on the last last very last hole so that is as low as it will sit as a crossbody and let me show it to you as a long shoulder bag as well that's how it will sit as a long shoulder bag that's the last hole it so now let me now this right here this little buckle on the front here this is just for decoration 
although you know it does come you can pull it in and out like that and adjust it but it's just basically for decoration so i never really adjusted it plus it does have a magnetic closure magnetic closure there okay so let me show it to you now on the shorter setting This is on the crossbody at the shorter setting. Remember, I'm five foot two. Shoulder bag setting. Remember, this strap is not detachable. I did purchase this one brand new, and it's only been used one time. And as a matter of fact, Here's the uh, information. It's from the Distressed Vintage Crop Collection. This is the dust bag. You can see it's still folded just like it was when I, when I bought it. Has a zipper compartment on the back side there. Very nice zipper. And two pouches on the front side. This is another bag in my collection. Never used it. I did purchase it pre-loved. Of course, I did dunk and clean this bag. It's a small kind of bag, but it's perfect. It does hold a full-size wallet. Okay. As you can see what the bag looks like on the inside. Cute little bag. If you wanted to, you could attach a little crossbody strap here. You could wear it like that. Put a little crossbody chain on it. I'm just not a fan of keeping items that I'm not using. The pebble leather on it is just awesome. Nice. It's a nice bag. Can't remember what the name of this one is right now, but if I can find it, I will post it on the video. And if anyone out there knows the name of it, please feel free to comment. Here's another coach handbag. Really could have left the tag on this one. I purchased this one and I just took the tag off a few months ago because I had every intention of carrying it. Well, I still haven't carried it. This bag is brand new purchased it brand new actually of course it's been sitting in my collection so i guess you could say it's like new it does come with a crossbody strap it is a wallet on chain it does come with the hang tag i just took it off and stored it inside the bag it's a small bag but it does have card cases in on the inside there okay and then there's a slip pocket right here on the other side here in that same compartment it does hold the cell phone and then of course there's a zipper compartment here and here's where i got the hang tag stored with the chain now i did purchase this brand new and this is the hang tag and when i purchased it it did come with that scratch on the side there but that's how i purchased it brand new so i'm the only owner but i've never used it so if you like wallet on chains such as this it does have a slip pocket on the outside as well this is an iphone 13 pro it does not hold a iphone 13 pro of course you can carry it that way but who would want to do that but it would hold a smaller phone but the iphone 13 pro does fit inside the bag i think i remember correctly let me see yes and that big middle compartment there so you could carry your cell phone there's a slip pocket there you could put some items there and then you got your cards right there and then another pocket here let me take that out so you can see and you got another compartment here and then a zipper compartment as well here okay 
So it is a nice little wallet on chain. Just haven't used it. Here's a back pocket here. Okay. It does come with the chain. I do have a video on my channel, Content with Candace, that goes into more details on this handbag. The chain strap is also detachable. So you could actually detach this chain and put another strap on it. And you actually use this chain on another bag. So it does come with all of that. You can also carry it as a clutch. There are a few scratches on here. Uh, either from storage or actually from might have already been there because I like I said I did purchase this brand new it's called I want to say it's called the hood and clutch with weaving but it's the walk version of this bag last but not least I am not sure what the name of this fossil handbag is but it is a saddle bag. I'm going to go ahead and is the strap, of course, is adjustable, but it's not detachable. It's a big saddle bag, too. Okay. Okay. Here's what it looks like as a crossbody. Here's what it looks like as a shoulder bag. Just kind of give you an overview of this bag. It does have a magnetic closure on the front here. Very easy magnetic closure. Let me show you that. This bag, I received it in like new condition. I did purchase it pre-love. Of course, anytime I purchase something pre-love, I know you're not supposed to dunk and clean the line bags, but you can tell there was no harm done to it. I did dunk and clean this bag. I was very careful with it though when I did do it. And it still looks like new. Okay. Does have a zipper compartment here on the inside. And then on this side, Two slip pockets. Cute little bag. My style in handbags is kind of changing. So you notice I pulled the two saddle bags for bags that I'm thinking about leaving my collection. Okay. Okay. This is a fossil. Leather is nice and soft. It's a nice saddle bag. These are the five handbags that I am thinking about letting leave my collection. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.